that's massive. And it's massive because of one reason. When the player starts to play football, and he's very young, he starts to play football, um, all the information that he gets for what's happening between the ball and him, he gets it from through the eyes. Right? So he's watching, he's watching what I touch it like this, and he's watching where the ball goes, you know? And so, so his brain is watching and then I say, yeah, the ball is there, so now touch it there, right? So every, all the information, it comes from the eye. As he plays more and more and more, the information starts to get mixed, sometimes with the eye, so sometimes he needs to still look, and sometimes he get it through the touch, kinesthetic. Sometimes it happens that if your right foot, when you're using your left foot, you're using more all the information comes through the visual, right? And using your right foot comes more from the kinesthetic, from the touch. So why is this important? Because ma until you don't get to the point that most of the information comes from kinesthetic, you need to look mainly all the time. And while you're looking there, you cannot look what's around. Until you don't start looking what's around, you cannot play. We're talking to be really a really good player. You cannot play. So the younger you get a kinesthetic level, the younger you start watching what's around you, and the younger you start rela rela having a relation, you know, a tactical relationship. And then the, the earlier you can start developing tactical skills that will make a massive difference. It's exactly the same as if you learn uh, to play a musical instrument. If you learn to play a piano or play guitar, probably you will be looking what your hands are doing because you get all the information from there. But eventually, we we'll make a point that you you get information from the touch. You know, that's basic. It's exactly the same in football. So the earlier you get that, the quicker you can grow.